Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an everyday makeup look. Not a natural look because you can definitely tell I have makeup on, but it's a, it's an everyday look. It's really easy, not that many products are used, super simple, and uh, I feel like this was a very perfect first kind of uh, real makeup tutorial to show you all um, what you've been asking in the lives that I've been doing so you can see uh, kind of what I do to get ready every day. So let's get started. So I'm going to be starting with an entirely blank canvas. Wash my face, it's crisp, it's clean, and I actually just put some moisturizer on it. And I'll do a get ready face prep tutorial later on, but right now we are just doing a natural look. So let's get to the makeup part because that's more fun, honestly. Starting out, uh, I'm going to be using this primer. <sighs> Daisy. Daisy! My dog is actually deaf, so she cannot hear me. Hopefully it's not picking up the barking, but if it is, please know that my deaf dog means well. <laughs> this is the primer that I've been using literally for probably this past year. I've used another one interchangeably, but it's the Poor Professional from Benefits, and it is my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to take not that much because it spreads a lot, but probably just a dime size amount. And since we're just doing a natural look, I'm not going to do my eyes first because uh, I'm not that afraid of fallout because I'm not going to be using that heavy of colors. But when we're doing like say a pageant makeup or a stage makeup, something of that nature, then we're going to do probably a little more eyeshadow. shadow. But right now we're not going to do that because we don't need to. We're just having fun with our lives. <laughs> so after I put on the primer, uh, with this one it's really, really good. Sometimes I like to wait in between just so I feel like I'm not moving it around. I'm don't feel like I'm messing it up if I start right away. Uh, to go with, a I have a little bit of redness right here. Uh, get away from that redness. This Clinique, even better, is fantastic. My mom introduced me to that and I love it. Um, and this is the Beauty Blender. All right, point number one about Beauty Blenders that I forget not everybody knows is to make sure that it's wet. Uh, this one is obviously loved. I clean it and you need to clean it probably once a week, uh, more so if you're that dedicated, but uh, I'm just putting honestly just this little bit on, not that much. Well, I should be putting it on. Dang it, this is loved too. There we go. I was gonna be nervous. There wasn't gonna be anything in there. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, so we're just gonna put it a little bit right there, right where um, I have my redness. And honestly, this one blends really easily with other makeups, so. This is also really great for cover up if you have anything that, you have any problem areas where there's redness or there's like a blemish like right there, which I'm like, why is that there? Nobody knows. It really helps it dim it down before we go into the concealer. A natural concealer that I love to use is this Clinique uh, Stay, Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. I have pretty oily skin, and so this is fantastic to where it doesn't make me feel like I have cakey makeup or that it's super thick or it's super noticeable, but it's right where I want it to be. So again, we're just gonna put a little bit on the base of that. The reason why I love, this is the Eco Tools Beauty Blender, and this is one of the ones that I love because it has these two edges. Uh, when they're put together, it makes a heart, and it's really cute, but uh, I love it because it has different edges, and I'll show you why. So I'm just dabbing it on the two sides, my forehead, nose, and chin, and this stuff blends out pretty well too, especially when you wet the Beauty Blender because then it just blends it all well. making sure that I'm blending it in, but I'm not getting it into my hair because we don't want orange hair. Well, if you do want orange hair, then more power to you. But right now my hair is not the color orange, so I'm not going to change it orange um, just to match my makeup. We're also gonna make sure that you're blending it down into your neck. You don't want, or maybe you do want, but I don't like it when you can tell that I'm wearing makeup. Sometimes it's necessary, AKA pageants, but <laughs> most of the time it's a really good idea to take it here and then down into your neck. Now we're going to take my favorite concealer literally of all time. This is, I've, I literally use it every single day of my life. Um, it's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Uh, it is in the color Fair. Um, it comes in a few different colors actually. I just know that it's not because I use it all the time. The button is not here anymore. It's been taken off and loved. 
So but we're gonna make two triangles under our eyes and then we're gonna put it right there on that line and blend it out. Oh, we don't want bangs in our face. Make sure that your bangs are not in your face and that you're not getting your makeup on your hair. Like I just did. <gasps> Bless it. Again, since this is a everyday one and it's really, really not natural, honestly, I'm not worried too much about the evenness of this, but we're just gonna take my finger, blend that up. We're gonna come back to that with the Beauty Blender in a second. And then we're gonna take the flat edge of this guy and go like this. Now you want to make sure whenever you're blending this out to blend it down into your cheek a little bit but also this isn't a thing that i don't even know if this is correct but i really like to do it before i've done my eyebrows and if i'm doing this process first sometimes i do my eyebrows first but if i'm not i'm going to take this and i'm going to take the excess and also bring it just above there that way it makes a little bit more sense it's a little more blended and you don't see a direct line between your temple and where you're trying to put that light uh, concealer you can see right here there's like a kind of a big difference yeah you can see that that's not cute so we're gonna take this and we're gonna blend it up before we throw this away and we move on to the next part we're going to pat down that line of our nose <laughs> ah we're blended blessed so <laughs> next thing we are going to do is set our makeup and we're going to be setting it sometimes if i want to do heavier if i want to be more of a glam makeup i will use the actual beauty blender when it's still wet to set my makeup but since we're still doing more of a natural thing i'm going to just be using a brush uh, the brush that i've been using to set my foundation as of late when i'm doing more of a natural thing is the eco tools highlighter brush uh, it's it's super lightweight very I mean as you can see it covers a lot it's fanned out but it's really nice to kind of I mean not feel like my face is still cakey because we're going for that natural look right now I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder it's my absolute favorite thing ever shake it up flip it over don't cry and don't die when there's like literally like a mound in there that's what's supposed to happen but I'm not gonna use all of it sweetie all right Taking the excess in there and using it, but then also tapping that out because we don't want it to be crazy. We're just gonna brush it out under our eye. And then also doing that same thing, swirling it, tapping it. We're gonna use it right under our jawline as well. That way it's creating a little bit of a highlight, but we're just gonna leave it there for a little bit while we do our brows. And then we're gonna come back to it and swipe it all away. All right, now while we're gonna let that bake for a little bit, we are going to do our brows. The brows that I've been using, I've been dabbled in a lot of different ones. I used to use, um, one I still do sometimes, use a dip uh, eyebrow gel, or eyebrow, what would you call it? It's not a gel, but like an eyebrow dip. Uh, but as of late, I've been using the um, Anastasia Brow Definer. It's awesome, and it's super easy, and it does not take a long time. And what I really love about it is on one side, it actually has the eyebrow thing for you. So again, we can go more into this in another video of intense eyebrow how to do's. But right now, again, this is a very natural thing, a very everyday makeup thing that's still fresh and cute. So I shouldn't say everyday. Let's go with everyday, but cute because we're not cute every day. Okay, we're going back to this. We're going to brush it all up to the heavens. then taking the other end of that which looks like this if it'll focus it may but you can see it it's fantastic I love it so we're gonna use this and we are going to brush it all around our eyeballs not our eyeballs our eyebrows man I should not be making these things pushing it up for the first half and then once you get to this kind of ridge where it dips down you're gonna be drawing it down word that gives it some of the arch that you see without being totally an Instagram eyebrow, but it's getting there. It's like thinking about it, but it's not going the entire way. Can you, can you, 
before we do that, before we end that, I should say we're gonna take the little brush guy and we're gonna brush it all upwards one more time, just so we're happy with our lives. Now we're gonna move on to our eyes. So with our eyes, we're going to take this exact same one, the color cover girl already set gorgeous in the fair, the one we use for our concealer. We're just gonna dab it right above our eyes. We already put the primer on there, but we're just gonna put this on there just to kind of solidify it. So once we have that on there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a base color, a light color on there, so it kind of covers our entire eye. For the very first eyeshadow, we're gonna be using a kind of a bigger brush, but something that's also, you know, not as fluffy, but this is gonna be the full shadow brush from EcoTools. And uh, we're gonna kind of do, for me, for natural, I have green eyes, and so I like using more of like plummy things, but we're not gonna go full on plum today. We're just gonna go like kind of plum, more of like a brownish, bruised plum. I'm not gonna use that description again, I promise. That was a little much. For our base color, we're gonna be using the Naked Heat palette. It's awesome. And this very first one is Ounce. And we're gonna be using that and taking it all over our eyeball, starting right here in the middle and then going all the way out. So once all the tackiness is gone, uh, from doing that whole first thing, we're gonna use more of a transition color. So it's gonna be a lighter one, but I've really been obsessed with the MAC 9 Burgundy palette, and so we're gonna be using that one today. It is more plummy, but it's again, more of a bruised plum type color. For the transition one, I'm using this one right here in the center. It's the second one over. Um, it's really, really light, and I like it because it's Again, more of a plumish pink rather than like a deep brown or like a nude, but it's one of my favorite ones that I use. I'm gonna put it right in that crease, and again, just swipe it over. If you have ever watched any of my makeup lives from this year or, or last year when I was Miss America, you see that I don't use a lot of colors. Um, I'm really all about if you can do it simple and quick and easy and you're on the go, then that's the best way to do it. We're really busy people. And so uh, getting our makeup routine down to as fast as possible is huge. And so honestly, for a natural look, I have this one and I'm just gonna add one other one. And then we're gonna take those both under my eye and deepen it up a little bit. That's all we're gonna do. I'm using the EcoTools Precision Blending Brush for this guy. And so again, it's this one right here and that bottom, what is this? The left hand, yes, left hand corner. And we're gonna take that, I'm gonna take it and swirl it. You're gonna be kind of using like a twisting motion and then a windshield wiper motion. So right there in the corner and then taking it over. What I really like about this brush is that it does what it says. It's very precision blending. And so it's not like, I know that if I'm gonna put it somewhere, it's not gonna fly crazy, but it also blends really, really well. So again, right in the corner. You're gonna be doing a circle motion and a windshield wiper motion. We're gonna go in one more time um, with that uh, larger Eco Tools brush, and with the we're gonna go in with this color one more time and just kind of blend it out, just because we like our eyes to be blended. You know, kind of like oh, are her eyelids naturally that color? I know nobody actually says that, but that'd be really great if they did. Now we're gonna go under our eyes and we're still gonna use the um, Perfusion Blending in a second, but first we're going to use this smaller one, which is the angled liner. It works really well if you're using a liquid liner or a um, if you even wanna do liquid eyeshadow and that's when you put water in this brush, make some eyeshadow, you can make your own liquid liner. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this and using that bottom one, taking a little bit of it and doing right under our eyes. What we're gonna do now is with the precision blending brush that we used, we're going to use the lighter color, uh, which is this guy for a reminder. And we're going to take this one and blend it out just towards the edges. We don't wanna go all the way around, but we're just gonna do it very, very lightly towards the edge. That way it's just a little bit prettier this and so it's a little bit more blended but 
We're not going full on with this under eye. Not today. Not today, Zerg. I think that's from Toy Story. So now what we're gonna do is, cause I use a kind of liquid liner pencil and I always like to spray my face before I do that stuff. We're gonna do bronzer and blush and highlighter. The bronzer that I love is this Hoola uh, Benefit. It's awesome and it's my favorite. Super great brush to use for this is the Eco Tools bronzing brush. It's fanned and it's a lot thicker, so it helps kind of get that contouring in. Because I didn't do contouring today with the uh, liquid foundation, I'm doing it just with the powder. But if it was more of a dramatic look, then I'd be doing the contouring with the liquid. But today we're just gonna do powder. But again, refresh for those who are new to contouring, new to bronzing, new to all of this jazz. We're gonna be doing it in the sections of our face that we want to kind of create a deeper effect. So we're doing it right here underneath our jaw. Make sure when you're blending these, you're gonna be blending at a sharp angle, but you're gonna be blending a little bit higher and a little bit lower as well. That way it creates more of a blended look because none of us have actual lines in our faces. All right, again, we're also gonna warm the outside of our faces as well. Taking this as well and going on the sides of our noses really quickly, like so. All right, now what we're gonna do, sorry, I just elbowed the table. <laughs> we're gonna take this and bring it right here and we're gonna get rid of the double chin effect in pictures. And you're gonna blend it on the bottom and you're also gonna save yourself from looking like you ever have a double chin. Praises. All right, for the blush, this is the uh, defining brush from the Eco Tools set. And the blush that I, I really, really love for like natural stuff, it's this Down Boy. Um, it's by the Balm. It's really fun though. It's a very pinky color. This is brand new because I just ran out of my old one. Um, but you tap it, it's also really pigmented, so be sure to tap that off because you don't want, you know, total clown cheeks. And you're gonna start it right here because that's where the most pigment is and we're going to swirl it in. Can you show up? How much does that show up? Now you can't really tell how much that's showing up on the screen right now, but it is very pigmented. Also gonna take a little bit right here Drop it on our nose and of our chin just because we want our face to be warm and happy and glowy because we always shine. I don't know where these words are coming from. Okay, for the highlighter, uh, the really, really great thing, this is a super fun brush. It's not the highlighting brush um, from Ego Tools, but I really, really love it. Oh no. I really like it. It's the Airbrush Concealer. It's so light and airy and fluffy and it's been awesome. This is the highlighter that I'm using right now. It's Mary Lou. Mary Lou Manizer. I'll put all of these in the thing below so you guys can really see it because I'm probably not pronouncing these right. But we're going to take it and again, starting it up top, just a little bit right here, blending it in though, and we're going to take that above our eyebrow just so it kind of creates that effect. Same right here. You know that YouTube video where that guy's like putting on highlighter and he can't stop putting on highlighter? I feel like that was my problem every day last year. Okay, now for some reason it looks like my nose is on fire and I'm praying because in the mirror it does not, but in this thing it looks like my nose has a literal light bulb on it, which attests to the power of the highlighter, but also I'm not really going for the light bulb nose look right now, maybe later, but not the moment, but we're going to continue on with the highlighter. Also putting it right above that and on our chin as well, this is the spot that we have highlight. Oh my gosh, this camera is picking up this highlighter. I'm going to have an issue. Right, moving on. We're gonna put it right in the crevice of our eyeball, in the tear duct, I should say. We're also gonna place it right in the center, literally just tapping it on there, above our eyebrow. And then we're done. We're gonna take, actually, the um, translucent powder that we've been using earlier and the fan brush and just kind of fan all of that out um, just so it kind of buffs it out and doesn't look like we put crazy amounts of face on our face. Okay, now I said earlier that I like to do all of that before I put on mascara and liquid eyeliner. I like to spray my face and set it, which is true. I do it all the time. Uh, the spray that I've been using for a long time is this uh, Urban Decay D Slick. It's awesome, I love it. My face is pretty oily sometimes and I find myself like my makeup looks totally different at the end of the day than it was at the beginning or it's not as pigmented or I cry and everything falls off. So we're gonna be using this and uh, taking your bangs out of the way because you don't wanna spray your bangs. Just like two, Whew. super fun, refreshing the face, making it look really happy and excited. 
What we're gonna do right now is we're going to do the liquid eyeliner, if I can find it, because I have 12, because I love them all. We're gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna do mascara and then we're gonna be done, which is kind of fun. Uh, the liquid eyeliner I've been hooked on for right now is Too Faced. It's in a pen and you can see there's a super great line. So you have extreme control with it, which is what I love to do because we're literally gonna pull our eye over to the heavens so we can get l literally on our waterline because for a very natural look, I don't want a really thick eyeliner. Sometimes a thick eyeliner is super fun, but for this, we're just gonna do super, super thin and we're making it literally as close to your lashes, basically on your lashes if possible. And another thing I like to do once I have this all done is I'm just going to kind of finish them off. So they're not going to be winged, but they're just going to be finished, finished, if that makes any sense. I'll show you what I mean. Um, actually, let me zoom this in real quick. Okay, now you can see what I'm talking about really, really close and personal. But I'm going to pull this and just honestly finish this off. We're not winging it. We're just going to kind of extend it from our eyes. You can see there's a slight wing, but it's nothing crazy. We're just doing that so that... Honestly, on that side, I don't even have to pull. I'm just gonna place it and kind of in that little with a little flick. So it's super fun, super happy. All right, last thing on the agenda. No, not the last thing. I almost forgot to put lipstick on. My mom would be so mad. Um, we're going to be putting on mascara, which is super fun, always. Uh, I go back and forth between mascaras because I feel like my eyelashes get accustomed and they like don't want to do what my mascara is telling them to do because I think that they know that I'm mad. So right now, uh, I'm switching off between Elizabeth Arden Mascara and Voluminous by L'Oreal. It's also awesome because they have the curved brush ones, which I love, but right now we're just gonna use this one. It's really, really nice. It has a super thin bristles, so I can get really close to it and shake it on up. Don't get your hair in this part, especially. I really like how this mascara really spreads them all out. I don't know if you can tell. I'll zoom in again so you guys can see, but it really is catching every single individual lash and it's not clumping, which is really fantastic. I'm all about that. Ha ha, all right. <laughs> Before we finish this off, we're gonna put on some lipstick. My favorite uh, lips, or I should say, my favorite everyday one that I've been using, seriously every day, is this right here. It is uh, by Tarte, and I've, I haven't used any of their products, but I was in Ulta the other day, and uh, I just love this color, and then I put it on, and it stays really well. And it also looks like you're not wearing lipstick because it's a very lip color lipstick, if that makes any sense at all. But it's a paint, it's a lip paint, so it stays on for a very long time, which I love too. I've tried this and I've worn it all day, and it's been fantastic. Again, if we're doing a more dramatic look, I put on liner, but right now we're just doing an everyday one. I forgot to tell you, this color is called Festival. Aw, that's kind of fun. Festive. So festive. Um, as you can see, it's a really natural color. And again, if we were doing more of a glam look, we would line it. But honestly, it's an everyday look and we're just going to leave it as is because we're being super fun, super fresh, super fun, girl. But that's all, folks. Um, you can put a gloss on. Oh heavens, you can put a gloss on, but don't do what I did and get lipstick on your teeth. If you um, wanna put a gloss on, you totally can. If you wanna mist again, you can as well. Um, but this is kind of a look that I do every single day. I do more of a glam look in a little bit, but tell me you guys what you wanna see. Uh, if you want more of something, if you want less of something, I'll be doing some hair tutorials soon too. Um, but let me know what you think. So much love. I wouldn't do that. We're gonna try this out one more time.